Hey everybody, welcome to the Mud Jug One channel. If you're new to this channel, this is a dipping channel. Well, what do you mean by dip, man? Well, I mean we put dips in our lips and uh, we talk shit. So today I'm gonna be packing me a little ham hock hog leg hog nut of Grizzly Long Cut 1900. Now, this dip um, is supposedly Grizzly's version of Copenhagen Long Cut. Um, the original Copenhagen Long Cut. Uh, I don't know, Ken. If you don't know what the original Copenhagen Long Cut is, then you probably aren't a dipper, and it doesn't really matter. So, anyway, this is Grizzly's version, and this stuff isn't too bad. Um, I wondered why they called it 1900, though. So, what I did was, is I did a little research, a little digging, and I wrote something down regarding that. Um, apparently, now I'm sure there's going to be an old all out there that sits down in his mommy's basement um, and has nothing better to do. He's going to tell me something different. But according to what I found out, James Duke created a giant tobacco trust joining the American Tobacco Company and the American Snuff Company in 1900. Hence the name. Grizzly 1900. I'll quit flapping my trap and pack me a lip. Now this stuff's a little bit old, so it's a little dry. Um, I actually did put a little bit of water in here uh, the other day, but mm -hmm. I used to use this chew renew stuff, but. Yeah, I'm all out, and I've been too lazy to go on their website and see if they even still exist. I don't even know if they do or not. But nonetheless, put a little water in there. So we'll let that soak. Well, the mud jug of the day is... Oh, what in the hell is that, mud jug one? Well, this actually is not the mud jug of the day, but I did want to show this uh, on camera. Um, this is actually made out of, uh, like, card, cardboard paper, and, uh, you know, you can put your, uh, I don't know, you can put your, uh, little, uh, candle in there or something. This was a gift sent to, uh, the, uh, sent to us uh, here at Mud Jug. We actually got three of them, one for me, one for Jeff, one for Garrett, and this was sent to us by Stefan from Switzerland, um, his, uh, his wife, Orfea, is a, an artist, and they came out and visited us, actually, uh, gosh, this summer, I guess it was. And uh, anyway, they made these for us, sent us some, you know, Swiss chocolate and all that good stuff, too, which was awesome. But uh, I just, I, we thought these were real cool. I mean, they're crazy. It's hard to see in the camera, but, I mean, basically, it's a replica of a mud jug, obviously, made out of, uh, like, cardboard paper, so... Anyway, big shout out to Stefan and Orfea uh, from Switzerland. Uh, we appreciate that. The real mud jug of the day will be the blue fire mud jug. That's right. Why? Well, because that's the jug I had here. Now, speaking of mud jugs, the orange skull mud jug has now been retired. So we will put that up on the shelf. If we have room, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we got room. Put that right there. <sighs> well, why do you retire mud jugs, mud jug one? Well, because when well, they don't sell after a while, um, and we get rid of them. And not only that, if uh, we want to bring something new in, we got to make room. We can't, we can't always have 9,000 different designs, you know. I mean, the orange skull actually sold okay, but... And it's one of my personal all-time favorites, but, you know, I mean, we got to make room for other stuff and, you know, stuff that sells maybe better. Um, also, we you can still get an OD Green Mud Jug on our website for 25% off if you use the coupon code OD Green during the checkout. So that'll give you a mud jug, an OD Green Mud Jug for 15 bucks plus shipping, of course. A lot of you guys uh, apparently liked my last video. It was a video about working out, and uh, it was titled, uh, Do You Even Lift, Bro, I believe. Uh, apparently, I motivated quite a few people to uh, 
get their shit together in, in when it comes to working out and uh, in life in general, which is good. That's kind of what I wanted to do. I didn't want to piss piss anybody off, but I never want to piss anybody off. But if if it happens, I really don't give a shit. So how's that? Um, I do want to say though, you got you you guys gotta watch this movie. Do be a doer, don't be a donter. Pain and Gain with The Rock and Mark Wahlberg. This movie is hilarious, man. Hilarious. And believe it or not, in a sick, twisted way, it may motivate you as well to go uh, to go get in the gym, bang some iron, and get, your, uh, get rid of your big, fat gut. Oh! So, let's see. Where are we at? Uh, uh, as you guys saw in the intro... Uh, we were, a lot of you guys know, we sponsored Johnny Sauter um, at the Vegas truck race last weekend. We, uh, you know, I've talked about sponsorships before. It's so funny when we do a sponsorship deal and everybody comes out of the woodwork and they're calling us and emailing us, hey, can we sponsor this, sponsor that? This, you know, we have not seen much, we have not seen a great rate of return on our, on our investment on anything that we've ever done sponsorships including nascar truck including we did we did nationwide too one time um you know and the amount of money that these that these teams are asking to be on a top nationwide team or a top cup team is just ridiculous and again even if you even if you were on jimmy johnson's car really you're going to give that guy what Five million bucks for maybe ten races, let's say. And uh, how many how many mud jugs do you got to sell to get that kind of uh, money back? Uh, yeah, so it really doesn't make a lot of sense financially. But we're big fans of Johnny Sauter around here, and we wanted to go out to the track. We wanted to. Uh, it's Vegas, so we just drove. It was close. We wanted to uh, basically take some people out there, have a good time, and enjoy enjoy the race. You know, so. That's why we did what we did. Johnny's just a beast, man. That guy, he unloaded like crap. He got very little practice time in. His truck was just a piece of shit. And, you know, he qualified 16th. And he uh, ended up taking second, man. That guy, it's crazy. Um, the whole NASCAR world, man. There's a whole lot behind the scenes going on in that, in that whole industry, man, that... Uh, it's kind of unfortunate because guys who have the talent don't necessarily get the rides. It's the guys who bring the sponsorship money in, and those are the guys that, that get uh, get the good rides and the good teams and all that. So, But anyway, it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the intro and the picks in the beginning. Uh, that song was uh, by Dope. Um, if you guys uh, want to look that song up, uh, so we're back, we're already, what, oh man, we're already in October, I can't believe it, we're approaching our busy season, we're in quarter four, Q4 right now, um, if you guys have your eye on a particular design, mud jug design, that you want to get, or you want to get for someone for Christmas, I suggest you do it as soon as possible, because every year we get cleaned out, we are going to be sold out of probably Almost every design that you see, we're doing our best to get ramped up for Christmas, but every year we get caught with our pants down, and it's never enough. So um, I've already been uh, getting emails from people um, and orders, people putting in the notes that they're already Christmas shopping, which which is great. I mean, I, I wish I could do that, but I, I never have time. I'm always last minute Larry, you know, Christmas uh, Eve shopping. But I just wanted to mention that. Uh, I think we're going to do the NASCAR trading card segment. Yes, we are. Let me grab that little boxy box over here. See what we got in this little ticket trunk. We didn't do this last video, I don't think. Um, did you guys watch this uh, nationwide race? Did you see Kyle Busch, that son of a bitch? Did you see him take out Brad Keselowski? Um, they're, they're fighting for the owner championship in the nationwide and, and it was purely obvious that Kyle Busch took him out. Just another reason I can't stand his ass. Oh, what do we got? <sighs> okay. We will see what's going on in here. So, get rid of that. First one out of the break. Oh, Brendan Gone. He's a guy that's been in truck forever. 
Um, he's okay. I think he's kind of uh, tight with the, uh, you know, with the uh, Richard Childress crew there. I'm not quite sure. I think he gets his engines from them, but whatever. Brennan gone. Yeah. Whatever. Huh. Man, these are old. Cheerios 33. The Cheerios 33 car. That's what Clint Boyer used to drive. I like Clint Boyer. He's in the 15 now. Um, I think when he was a 33, uh, when the, he had the 33 car, they actually contacted us to do a, a sponsorship. You know what they wanted? They were going to give us a killer deal on the 33 Clint Boyer. And uh, they were going to give us two races for $350,000. Well, holy shit. That was a, and that was a deal. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, just because he's not on the 33 anymore, and I don't like Cheerios, well, we're going to give him one of those. Next. Let's see what he got. Oh, Tony Stewart. Eldora Speedway. Now, they did bring the truck race back to Eldora. This is a press pass. This is 2010. Holy Toledo. This shows Tony Stewart holding holding a trophy, and it says uh, Eldora Speedway. Uh, prelude to the dream, yeah, I don't know what race that was, whatever, it must have been something special, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. Next, Marcos Ambrose, well, shit, here's another guy from Australia, that doesn't do really diddly, uh, this is an old card once again, Marcus Ambrose, he, uh, he's, in, he, yeah, he's collecting a paycheck, but that's all he's going to do, he'll never do diddly, I mean, go, go hunt alligators, or ca kangaroos, or some shit, I don't know, next, Ryan Newman, yes, Ryan Newman, uh, he's actually, what did he win, the Brickyard this year, or something, this is the, this is, uh, again, an old card, so it's not really helping me, um, because I'm getting old, my memory ain't that good no more, but, Ryan Newman, yeah, whatever. I don't think he's going to be uh, on the Haas team next year, but whatever. Later. Jeff Burton, he's still on the cat car. Yeah, everybody, oh, everybody loves cat, right? All you heavy-duty mechanics and heavy-duty, uh, you know, machine operators. Jeff Burton, cat, yeah, he's getting old. He ain't going to do shit. Later. Mark Martin, yes, Mark Martin, 125 pounds worth of uh, skin and bones. Mark Martin, but this guy has been in the racing world for a long time he has done very well for himself can't say anything too bad about mark martin respect the guy drives like a bat out of hell still at age 79 and a half and again tony stewart tony stewart well stewart Haas racing tony hasn't done diddly this year so you know uh it's been a while since tony's really done anything i think he's kind of torn between driving and, and ownership and all that good stuff it must be nice to have all that kind of money you know what i'm saying nonetheless tony stewart i'm a big fan tony stewart sorry i got no bush cards this time guys but that concludes the nascar trading card segment kyle bush kiss my ass so now we're gonna do soldiers of the week troops soldiers marines seamen airmen squids etc um i do want to give a special shout out though uh this is non-military shout out to uh i want to mention his name his name is jake grambo uh jake was a big fan of my videos apparently and he recently passed away and i want to give a shout out to his family and friends um it's unfortunate certain things happen in life and uh so I just want to mention his name, Jake Grambo, and, uh, you know, shout out to his family and friends. I'm sure they're uh, going through a rough time right now. So um, let's see. First troop of the week is Kyle Callenborn, U.S. Army, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Next is, and I'm going to butcher this name. Cannon Pruitt, I believe. Uh, he leaves for Air Force Basic uh, this month in October. This guy's bought tons of mud jugs. Uh, one of his friends sent me a request to add him to the uh, Soldiers of the Week, Troops of the Week, so I said I would. Next is Senior Airman Kyle Dehan. And let's see. Also, Staff Sergeant TJ Labre Labreco. Uh, who was killed in action, Senior Airman Kyle Dehan and Staff Sergeant TJ 
Labrakio were part of the 7th Reaper team in Afghanistan. Uh, they were attacked and killed in action. Um, let's see, Senior Airman Dave Moore. I've been talking to Dave on Facebook. What's up, Dave? Next is Lance Corporal Tim Foley, 1st Recon Marines in Korea. U.S. Navy veteran Vietnam, uh, wow, Vietnam, Bill Ford, Medal of Honor and Purple Heart recently passed away. Private Kyle Callenborn, U.S. Army, Fort Jackson. Oh, I got Callenborn twice. Fort Jackson, South Carolina. SPC Robert Smith, uh, Infantry, South Korea. And last but not least is Colton Urich, Fort Benning, Georgia. I have no branch or rank or anything on that. That includes the Soldiers Troops of the Week. Well, I think that's about it for me, guys and gals. If you are on a budget and you like Copenhagen Long Cut, but it's too expensive where you live, I suggest you get some Grizzly Long Cut 1900. It's okay, you know. I would probably give this about a 7.5 uh, out of 10. Uh, it still has that Grizzly plastic processed taste like all Grizzly does to me. You know, it doesn't really come close to Copenhagen Long Cut, really, in my opinion. Um, that's my dip of choice, Copenhagen Long Cut. Copenhagen Snuff is good, too. Um, but, you know, everybody's different. So, um, it stays packed together good. You know, it's, it's typical Grizzly. Most of the Long Cuts are all cut the same. So, I suggest you get it. You guys missed out on the Orange Skull Mud Jug. Too sad. Too bad. So sad. Bye-bye. Get your Keep It Frickin' Hillbilly hat from, uh, from Outlaw at uh, KeepItHillbilly.com. And, guys, follow me on Twitter, MudJug1. Uh, Instagram, MudJug Portable Spittoons, all one word. I'm going to get my followers up a little bit. Pretty lacking. I mean, I have over 40,000 subs on YouTube. By the way, views on videos have been down, man. Holy Toledo. Crazy, man. Crazy. I mean, I know people are busy during the summer and views go down during the summer, but I mean, I got 40,000 subs and, yeah, you know, I get 15,000 15, views on my videos. I mean, that's pretty lame. Anyway, I'm out of here. Always be packing. Then remember one thing. If it ain't dip, it ain't shit.